It's Lynn from Lynn's Kinky Creations and today I have some new hair for you all and this hair is from Free Trust and they now have out two new faux lock hairstyles so I went ahead and purchased the two new styles that they have offline and I'll definitely make sure to leave all that in the description box as to where the hair can be purchased so the first style that I'm going to be talking about is Free Trust now has some new faux locks called Cuban gorgeous locks in 12 inches and this is what they look like this is the stock card here and I'll just go ahead and quickly read off the colors that they have available in this style now they have your regular solid colors they also have color 613 uh, color gray they have T27 T30 T530, T99J, and they also have Caramel and Cherry Wine. So the color that I purchased here is Caramel. And I also went ahead and purchased a color number four as well. So I purchased six packs of the Caramel color and one pack of the color number four. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the locks look like. So the Caramel, I would say, is a mixture of like a, like let's say you have a 1B slash 30 mixed together. I would say that is what's included in the pack. And also like if you have a 1B mixed with a 350. So I would say the colors that it gives you is color number 30 and color number 350. So as you can see like the, the ends, this one is the, looks more like a 30. And this one looks more like the, this one, excuse me, looks more like a 350. So these are what the locks look like. And I'll also show you what the color number four looks like as well. So this is what the color number four looks like. Now each pack comes with 24 locks and as you can see these locks are a bit thicker because recently Free has been making faux locks and now they're like giving you like I would say 36 locks in a pack but um, this one gives you 24 locks in a pack. So like I said I went ahead and purchased 7 packs just to make sure that I have enough because I am going to be constructing a wig using these faux locks. So I just want to I just kind of took one off the out of the package. Just want to kind of show you guys what it looks like up close. Now if I had to talk about the texture of it, I would say to me it's a mix between the free tress bow locks and also the free tress gypsy goddess locks that they have out now i have that pack of hair over there in a second so i'm going to go ahead and show you like the comparison between the two so these are the gypsy goddess locks i might have a video out on these locks i'll definitely link that video in the description box if anyone is interested in checking that video out i'll definitely link it but the reason why i'm doing a comparison is because when I was looking online and I saw the Cuban locks, I was saying to myself, well, what is the difference between the Gypsy Goddess locks? You know, I kind of wanted to know what the difference was. So, because I have a pack of the Gypsy locks, I'm going to go ahead and show you and tell you guys what the comparison is. So, first off, the Gypsy lock is a bit skinnier than the Cuban lock. If you can see that. And as far as texture, 
I would say that the Gypsy Goddess Lock is, I would say it's a little bit more, like it's really solid. You know, I would say it's a bit more solid than the Cuban Lock. Um, the Cuban Lock to me, like I said, reminds me of the Bow Lock, but it's not as soft because the Bow Lock I felt like was a little bit softer as far as, you know, texture, you know, as far as feel. And as far as texture, I would say the Cuban Lock has a little bit more texture than the Bow Lock. And I would even say it has a little bit more texture than this Goddess Gypsy Lock as well. So I would say if I had to like sum up what the difference is and or similarities, I would say is that um, I would say as far as I, I really would have to just say it's more of a texture thing and also more of a um, size thing. So this one is thicker. Excuse me, I made a mistake. Sorry. The Cuban lock is thicker and the gypsy lock is a little bit skinnier. And obviously, this is 20 inches and this one is 12 inches. So they both have a nice curl on the end. They both are finished off nicely. They both have a very natural texture. Um, you know, you could kind of untwist it a little bit. You know, it's not, it's not like hollow inside, you know. So which is, you know, which is good. Um, but yeah, if I have to say, you know, that's all I can pretty much say that they, they look nice. Um, I was definitely interested in purchasing them. The packs are affordable. It's not like this one. I would say the goddess gypsy lock was a bit more expensive than the Cuban lock. So, um, you know, and you get 24 in a pack and they're a bit thicker. So you may not need seven packs. Um, if you're doing an individual crochet method, you definitely won't need seven packs because that'll be a lot of locks in your head but if you're doing crochet here just know that there's 24 that come in the pack so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next uh, crochet full lock style that free trust now has out and if you're familiar with their gorgeous locks they now have them in 12 inches now if I'm not mistaken they come in 18 inches and I'm not sure, I think they come, besides 18 inches, I think they come in 14 inches. Don't quote me on that because I'm not really sure. But they now have out the 12 inches. So this is the stock card. Um, the colors are not listed anywhere like how the other pack have the colors on the stock card. This, these don't have the colors listed on the stock card. But if I can remember correctly, they come in solid colors. They come in T27 and I believe T30. And I think they come in 99J. Um, so yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of take one out the pack to just show you guys what that looks like. Now I went ahead and only purchased one pack of, of these particular locks because I wanted to see what they look like before I um, purchased anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like and And I'll give you, I'll tell you how much, how many come in the pack in a second. So this is what they look like. And they have the nice curl on the end. And they have like a slight little wave to them. So I think they look nice. Like I said, if you're familiar with their regular uh, goddess locks, then that's exactly what this is, but just in a shorter length now. Um, I think these are nice. I think they're great for someone who wants a simple style, who doesn't want something that's too dramatic or too much going on. I think that's definitely, um, you know, definitely great as far as that's concerned. Now I'm going to go ahead and I didn't count the locks before. I took them out the pack, so please forgive me for that. If you guys give me a second, I can definitely tell you how many come in the pack. So I went ahead and counted all the locks. And the pack that I'm counting comes with 25 locks. So I know normally they give you 24 locks. So I'm guessing in this, maybe they just included one extra lock. But um, I'm counting, I counted 24 locks. Tw 24 locks, sorry guys. I counted 25 locks, excuse me. So um, if I had to, if I had to suggest, I would say if you wanna make a wig with this, you probably wanna purchase seven to eight packs because they are a little bit on the, you know, they kind of are a little bit on the skinny side. 
so they're not like super thick so if you're a person that you like your hair nice and full I would probably go with seven to eight packs so just want to kind of give you guys another you know view of what they look like So yeah, that's what these look like. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and um, make sure I definitely include all of the information in the description box as to where I purchased the faux locks from. And then don't forget to check out my website, lenskinkycreations.com. I'm going to have my, you know, 10% off coupon as well going on still. Um, I also have my wigs also on my Etsy shop, which is Etsy.com slash lenskinkycreations. And don't forget to definitely check out my Instagram page because on my Instagram page, whatever wigs that I make, I upload them. You know, I put the pictures on Instagram as well. So if you're interested in seeing what some of the wigs I have out and what they look like, definitely check out my Instagram page. But I'll have all of the description, all of the, excuse me, all of the information in the description box below. And thank you all for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was of interest. And like I said, thank you for watching and see you all in the next one.